Hey, Will, great job in class today. Uh, what we had talked about today was the solo for Sweet Home Alabama. Um, the interesting thing about learning songs like this is that uh, it's good to learn songs just for the sake of learning a cool song. It's also good to learn songs because there's a technique there and there's some theory behind it that's gonna help us in our own playing. So for the solo for Sweet Home Alabama, we're not gonna play it note for note how it is on the recording, all right? The reason why is because there's some pretty advanced stuff that we haven't quite gotten to yet. What we're gonna learn is a solo that's um, that you can play along um, to Sweet Home Alabama. It sounds very, very similar, but it's not gonna be note for note. Um, I'm gonna play it for you all the way through and I'm gonna break it down into four parts, okay? It's pretty simple. Again, it's not going to sound exactly like this solo, but it's very, very similar, and uh, you can play it along to the song. Uh, I'm going to break it down into four parts. Part one is this lick that we, you actually already know. You practiced this last week. I'm bending here on the 15th fret of the first string, releasing the bend, playing the 14th fret of the first string. In the 15th fret of the second string twice. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm on the, uh, I'm here on the 8th fret of the first string and I'm going to go back and forth between the 8th and the 10th fret twice, like this 8, 10, 8, 10, 8. So 8, 10, 8, 10, 8. I'm going to go down to the 7th fret of the uh, first string. And then play the second fret, or I'm sorry, the seventh, the eighth fret of the second string twice. So it's like this. Then we're going to rest there, all right, for um, just a couple counts. Then we're going to come up here to the uh, ninth fret of the third string. And we're going to bend. But then release the bend. So we're actually hitting um, two notes there. Like that. And then I'm going to resolve that on the seventh fret of the third string. And I'm going to come down here to the uh, fifth fret of the third string. Go back and forth between the fifth and the seventh fret two times. Five, seven, five, seven, five, four. The fourth fret of the third string. And then I'm going to play the fifth fret of the fourth string twice, like this. Now I'm going to come down here and the last part is this. I'm going to play the open fourth string, the second fret of the fourth string, and the open fourth string twice. All right. Follow that, uh, follow along with that, and let me know if you have any questions.